everyone welcome back to our channel we're so happy you're here today we're gonna to be doing our nursery tour or nursery reveal we've been waiting for this for a while but we wanted to get it just right it's still not a hundred percent done I don't think I will be until I just find a few more decor pieces but for now it is pretty much done and I can't wait to show you guys what we have here <laughs> Oh, also, I'm right here. <laughs> I'm filming today. <laughs> He's the cameraman. I've gotten a little bit of inspiration from Pinterest, from a little bit from YouTube as well. And basically what we wanted to do with this room is create a nice, calm environment. Um, we wanted the color palette to be really neutral. We started decorating this room before we even knew we were having a baby girl, but regardless, we still wanted it to be a little bit more on the neutral side, but we do have a few accents of pink and they're more like blush colors. So let's go ahead and get started. Whee! She's making me do this, guys. <laughs> Password? Baby girl 300. <laughs> Come on in, guys. Welcome to MTV Cribs. <laughs> <laughs> All right, All right. what would like to show? Come on in, guys. So I am baby girl, okay? <laughs> and I would like for you to show me why this is my room. And I want to know <laughs> why you chose everything that you did for me. Okay. Um, Wait, all right. hold on. Okay. okay. Thankfully, that didn't start. Oh, it will. Anyways, no, go Okay, ahead. so as soon as you walk in. Oh, see? It did start. So this thing is designated. <laughs> to start making some uh soothing some soothing sounds, sounds if the baby is her crying so yeah. <laughs> i just cried so that's why it's like that but anyways hey guys i'm, I'm the camera guy today i will make sure i link everything that i can find down in the description um but if i don't link something it's because it's either a gift or they don't have it available anymore but right over here we're going to start out with our little faux plant um, so this is from Ikea. We have a little basket also from Ikea and we just put for now a few um, For now, we just put a couple of um, stuffed animals and a blanket I don't know what I'm gonna actually put there permanently. It might be like a multi-purpose basket We'll see but I thought it was really pretty and that's from Ikea. We have this little I guess poof Thing that you can sit on. I've even seen on Pinterest people stacking two on top of each other and it kind of makes like a little um, coffee table situation but we'll probably put this off to the side since it's in the way but um, I think when she gets a little bit older and she's able to hold on to it she'll be able to kind of play and put things on top. I don't know. Plus I just think the rattan uh, material is really pretty and it goes really nicely with the theme that we're going with which is like natural woods and light colors and then over here we have our crib so this is from ikea as well it is probably the first thing that we purchased and i knew i wanted this crib because mainly because of the color and had great reviews and i just feel like it's something that's not going to be used by the, by children for a very long time so we knew we didn't want to invest in a super expensive crib so we went with this one and I think it's perfect and then over here we just kind of came up with this yesterday I think I bought this from home goods I found it just looking for other decorative pieces to add to her room yesterday and I thought it would it's look <laughs> I thought it would look perfect here and it just added a little bit of girliness because it's like in the shape of a flower and I think that's what that wall needed it's not perfectly centered with the crib but we already had a little I guess like a nail there so we just hung it there we might move the crib over to the side a little bit and then over here we have our dresser this is from Ikea I'm really excited that we found this one it comes in a few shades and there are two that are very similar there's white and I think unfinished wood or I'll leave the name here but they had run out of the white one I'm actually glad that the white one was out of stock because I would not have had the opportunity to buy this one and this is if you notice it's not like super shiny and the other one is and it has more of a cream color this one is more of a pure white which goes very well with our white walls and these um shelves so we also bought a few of these um 
dividers. Oh, you can show the inside. Yeah, so that's what the inside of the door looks like. So, actually, you can have it like that, or you can have it backwards, but like that, it looks a little yeah. bit better. Yeah, Johnny actually built all of the furniture in this room, and then my dad helped with a couple of the projects. I think it was the crib and this one. Um, but definitely, I would recommend going checking out Ikea's selection because they have a lot of cute stuff. And then this is the dividers that I have for her drawers. I bought two of these. And then I also bought a different type, which I actually use in my dresser, which I'll show you. And I just want to make sure I have enough of them to be able to organize and have everything in little cubbies. Because girls' clothes or baby clothes are really small. So I want to make sure I have everything organized in here. So these are the other little drawer dividers. They come in a pack of six, I believe, and they're pretty affordable they're really cheap so they're great to organize i love how small they are so you can put different things and then we still don't have up here a like a changing pad for her i actually went to target yesterday to try to pick one up and they didn't have any and i think i might end up just going somewhere to find i want to try to get the ones that you can easily wipe just because a lot of people recommend them and to me it looks nicer and it's just easier to upkeep so i'm gonna go with that then over here, this, this mirror is from Target and these shelves are from Ikea. And I really like how this turned out. This little setup was inspired by Pinterest for sure. Um, and I just like the fact that there's a mirror right next to the area where you're gonna change your kid because a lot of the times when they start getting, especially when they get older, they're able to kind of stand up and crawl up and look at themselves and that's really good for them to, for their development. And on these shelves, I just have a few little things for her, little rattle up here. Um, and I'll be switching this out, I guess, depending on like what she's into at the time. Um, these are actually from Love Every. They um, sent me a package and I'll be doing a different video later on. But I think it's super cute. It's wooden toys and I think she's going to be using these um, around the three month mark. Just to make things interesting for her while I'm changing her and I can quickly grab something to have her entertained. Um, yeah, so I think that's really cute. And then this little plant's also from Ikea, which is really cute too. This, actually my mom did this. Um, she, this is actually handmade by my mom, which is really sweet. And I don't know, maybe I'll clip some of her bows on here. And at some point, you know, she when she's tall enough to reach, she can come up here and, and reach for them on her own. So I think this is a super sweet thing that I just wanted to, I think this is the first, one of the first things that I put in her room. Um, and then over here we have the day bed. So babe, do you want to talk about the day bed? So the day bed um, the, the reason why we got a day bed is because we wanted this room to still be functional, right, baby? Yes, we so, have So this right here that you guys see is actually a place for another mattress So instead of one person sleeping two people can sleep on the day bed We wanted this room to be functional and at the same time is something that the baby our baby can use in the future and this is actually from Wayfair. Yeah. And then the pillows that we have here, we actually got those from Target. Target. Yeah. Du -du 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 Target! I love this one. I think one of the main reasons why we ended up going the daybed route and, oh no. Not the baby again. Not the baby soother. So we wanted to go with a daybed because I think we we're, we're still gonna get a little rocking chair and put it somewhere here or in our bedroom, um, but, uh, a rocking chair was something that I, I've heard a lot of people, a lot of first time moms getting and then they don't end up using a lot. And then there are some that swear by them because it really is helpful for soothing the baby and for nighttime feeds and all that. So we plan on having our baby in our room for the first couple of months, first few months of life, just until we get adjusted to a schedule and plus they're really, really young. Um, and we want to have, and we want to have her with us while she's a newborn. Um, but eventually she'll transition into this room and we, we we just thought it would be a great idea to have a day bed where we could just kind of sit here, lay down. I could do, you know, late night feedings um, and then have a comfortable bed to sleep in. You know, if it's a rough night that she's wake, waking up every 30 minutes, 
maybe one of us could sleep here is what something we talked about i guess we'll see we've never done this whole parenting thing so we have no idea <laughs> but we do know that it's a really comfortable bed and even if we don't use it for that main purpose which i'm pretty sure we will i know other people will be able to use it um other guests will be able to use it so and then over here i actually found this at home goods yesterday too when i found the mirror and i thought it was super cute the colors are very like they go with our room and it says choose love kindness and rainbows so i thought it was really pretty and then we just put it there we still have this blank wall and i'm not sure exactly what to do with it though maybe a full, full length mirror full length mirror we talked about yeah so once she gets a little bit older she's able to kind of crawl up or stand up and see you know see herself and then i will do a separate video on what's in my dresser i will have to do that once we get all of her clothes put away I feel like right now if I were to do that it just would be completely different than you know once she gets here I could have a totally different system now and then as soon as she gets here I have a completely different system um, later so I actually want to show you guys something that is working for me and it's functional so here's our bassinet from our stroller if you guys saw our stroller video our stroller unboxing and review you saw this already but this is basically like the part that zips right here and then you can remove it and you have your baby so if you guys haven't seen that video we'll leave it linked down below and we give a full in-depth review unboxing how to fold it it's like a first impressions video um and ob obviously we haven't used it yet because we don't have our baby yet but we did use it that first day or two and we love it it's really easy to fold and to unfold it fits nicely um, in the back of a car and I think you guys should check that out before we close out I just realized that I didn't talk about the curtains they're from Ikea and we'll also link them below and then we hung them really high up they're the 118 inch uh, length Kia and Johnny hung them up nice and high and the black curtain rod gives a nice contrast to an already really neutral light colored room and i really like that um so we'll link that also the knobs on the dresser some people i've seen them change them out to like wooden knobs or like rose gold or gold so you can easily swap those out and lastly the crib mattress is the newton baby crib mattress and i'm really happy that we went with that one it is a more expensive mattress but when it comes to child safety and all that stuff i don't mess around so we went with that one and it is completely 100% breathable and you can literally breathe through it so we really feel good about that and then the sheet is from target and i picked that up yesterday so thank you for watching this video i know a lot of you guys have been asking about our nursery and if it's finished and you guys have been wanting to see it so hopefully you guys enjoyed it make sure you check out our other videos we'll link a few down below that you think We'll leave a few down below that we think you might like and make sure you subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on our future videos, on our birth vlog, on um, introducing our baby into the world. So go ahead and uh, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you are up to date. Also make sure you follow us on Instagram because we post a little bit more regularly on there so go ahead and do that. We post weekly so next video is going to be next week on Saturday so we will see you then. Bye, Bye guys! guys. <laughs>